Okay, sige, bye-bye natin ito. Resultant traps if ship is in fresh water to salt water. On my previous video, we discussed about resultant trap if ship is in salt water to fresh water. Okay, the given drops were forward 13.9 meters, aft is 14.3. Okay, let me just zoom in. Forward 13.9, aft is 14.3 in salt water. Okay, resultant trap if ship is in salt water to fresh water. Now, in this brand new example, we are going to from, from fresh water to salt water. Now, we go back to the basics again. Okay? Salt water to fresh water, draft increases. Fresh water to salt water, draft decreases. So, what is density? Density is equals to mass per unit of volume, hence tons per cubic meter. So, what is salt water density? 1.025. Fresh water density is 1.000. Duck water density, anything in between fresh water and salt water density. 1.001 to 1.024. EW, EW means extreme water densities less than 1.000. For example, 0 0.995, such as in, uh, if I remember correctly, Panama Canal. Or more than 1.025, 1.032, if I remember correctly, that was in Red Sea. Okay, now. For this example, MV Egeo is floating on drafts forward 14.225. Aft draft is 14.625 in fresh water density. What will be her resulting draft in salt water density at constant displacement? Number one, solution, find the true mean draft. Okay, to find the true mean draft, forward and, uh, find the mean draft, forward and half, then apply correction to obtain the true mean draft. So, we have to find the mean draft. Okay, to find the mean draft, forward plus half draft, okay, 14.225 plus 14.625 divided by 2. The answer would be 14.425 meters. Using this 14.425 meters, okay, obtain the LCF. Okay, if we go here to our hydrostatic particulars, okay, we have to find the nearest less, okay, 14.42, okay, so 14.425 is between 14.44, so we could use 4.13, this is the LCF for 14.42, and this is the LCF of uh, 44, I should say, 4.13 is LCF for 14.44, 4.12 LCF is for 14.42, so 4.12, Plus 4.13 divided by 2 will be 4.125. So I put it here. Where is it? 4.125 meters. So this will be our LCF. Okay? LCF is equal to 4.125. So I put the guide here. Okay? Now next step is you have to find the correction. Okay? To find the correction, the formula is trim times LCF divided by LBP. Trim is difference between forward and aft drafts. Okay, so 14.225 minus 4.625. 14.625, the answer is 0 0.40. Multiplied by 4.125, divided by your LBP. In this case, my ship has an LBP of 220 meters. The answer for the correction is 0 0.008 meters. Now, to find the TMD, okay, TMD is MD plus correction. Okay, the mean okay, the mean drops were okay 14.425 plus 0 0.008. True mean draft is 14.433. Okay. To obtain the hydrostatic particulars at true mean draft, find the displacement and TPC from the hydrostatic table at TMD of 14.433. Displacement at draft 14.42. This is the nearest less. Okay, if we go back again. Okay, nearest less 14.42. Okay, 89,242.14. Okay, that's what that, this is the nearest less. Okay, its TPC on the side is 67.16. This is the TPC. Okay, 67.16. As you can see here, TPC up here, 67.16 down here. Okay. This is the nearest less, 14.42. Okay? Use the nearest less was, do not use, I highly recommend, do not use 14.44. I recommend you use the nearest less, 14.42. Because your TMD is 14.43, it's less. Okay? Displacement at trap, 14.42, this one. Increment. Okay, on my last video, I did not explain very well that where did I got yung 
increment. Okay, to get yung increment, nearest list of tabulated draft, 14.433 minus 14.42. The answer is 0 0.013 meters. Please refer to your hydrostatic particulars. This one. Okay, so this is my answer. This, this is where I got my answers. Okay, so again, 14.433 minus 14.42, 0 0.013. Okay, so increment. Okay, times 100. Okay, you have to put 0. Point, okay, I put 0 0.07. Okay, it has to be 0 0.13. Okay, put 1, 3 here. 1, 3. 0 0.013. There we go. Okay, 0 0.013 times 100 times 67.16. The answer is 87.31. Okay. Now you have to add that one. Okay. To the nearest less displacement, 89,242.14. So the answer will be 89,000 to oh, 89,329.45. This is the displacement at 14.433 meters. Now, to obtain the actual displacement. The corresponding displacement, I put it here, the corresponding displacement obtained from the hydrostatic table is for salt water density. Do not forget this, mates. Okay? Thus, it must be corrected to obtain the actual displacement in fresh water density. Remember, uh, our task for today is what are the resultant traps if the ship is in fresh water to salt water? Okay? So, we have to, again, convert. Okay? Actual displacement B1, okay, actual displacement is equal to salt water displacement multiplied by new density divided by salt water density. So again, the salt water displacement is 89,329, okay, 0. 0.49, okay, 89,000, okay, 329, oh, na double. Teka, natin ito isa. 89,329.49. 4, 5. Okay, there we go. Okay, 89,329.45. Multiplied by 1.000. Okay, this is the new density. Because we're moving from fresh water to salt water. Okay, the new density. This one. Okay, this is the new density divided by salt water density. Now, 89,000 times 329.45 multiplied by 1,000, 1.000 divided by 1, 1.025. Okay, the answer is this one, 87,150.68. Okay, then you have to find the TPC, which is 67.06. Again, refer to hydrostatic particulars and get the mean of two TPCs. Okay? This one. To get the 67.06, this is the guide. Okay? I put it here. Next, the next is freshwater allowance. Freshwater allow allowance will be displacement divided by 4 times TPC. Okay? So, 87,150.68 divided by 4 times 67.06 you have to divide answer by 1000 millimeter okay so once na you get yung answer na yun, okay ang kalalabasan niyan is 325 millimeters or 0 0.325 meters now itong 0 0.325 meters na to okay you have to add this ito na yung fresh water allowance mo eh 0 0.325 ito yung initial drops natin okay yung given 14.225 oh, Okay, sa forward. Tapos yung 14.625, ito naman yung sa aft. Okay, ito yung given natin ha. Ito yung nasa given problem natin. Tapos yung fresh water allowance natin, yung sagot na 0 0.325. Bakit? Oh sir, bakit po natin may minus yan? Okay, bakit po tayo nag minus? Or bakit po minsan nagpa plus? Again, balikan po ninyo yung sinabi ko kanina. Kung ang barko ay lumulutang sa ito, kung ang salt water to fresh water, magi-increase po yung draft. Okay? Kung fresh water to salt water, draft decreases. Okay? Fresh water to salt water. Okay? So, again, ito lang po. Napaka-basic lang. O, yan na, o. 
Kasi pa, punta tayo sa ano eh, from fresh water to salt water. Eh. Tumaas bigla yung density, may opposing mass. So ngayon, itutulak niya yung barko pataas. Pag tinulak niya yung barko pataas, mababawas ngayon, coincide yung drop. Okay, so yung 14.225, minus nyo po yung 0.325. Ganon din dun sa aft draft, ang sagot po sa resulting draft ay forward 13.9, sa aft draft 14.3 meters. Same pa rin po, 0.4 meters by the stern, ang trim. Okay, so itong resulting draft na from fresh water to salt water, parehas lang din po yan. Ito po, ha, tandaan na, 13.9 to 14.3, tandaan na, parehas lang din po yan doon sa naging example natin. Noong sa naunang video. Ayan o, no? 13.9 to 14.3. Okay, binaliktad lamang po natin. So, ganun lang bang po siya kasimple. Ito po, screenshot nyo po ito pag hindi po ninyo alam yung mga sagot. Okay, ito yung formula, ito yung guide from, sabi na lang natin, ayan, ito. Lakihan natin para mas makita ng tao. Teka, lakihan natin. Nasaan na lang? Para mas makita. Let's make it wider. Wait, hang on, stand by. There we go. Okay, lakihan natin. So, people could easily screenshot. Okay, this is the formula. Resultant draft. If your ship is salt water to fresh water, this is the guide. This, is, this will be your example. And on the right side, this is the resultant draft. If ship is in fresh water to salt water, this will be your guide. If you have taken down notes, it would be a lot easier for you. So again, if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'm here to help. Hope you guys learned something new. Be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, to God be all the glory. Again, thank you for subscribing and supporting this channel. By the way, thank you for purchasing all of our courses and publications. May God help you and bless you. Maraming salamat po.